Sorry, this hour, Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi has scored a huge self goal at a rally in Sangha Reddy in Telangana. Rahul Gandhi targeted the TRS government in the state, saying only one family has been running the state. It's extremely ironical, of course, that Rahul Gandhi, the sign of the Nehru Gandhi family, has chosen to target KCR over the issue of dynasty. In fact, in his attempt to attack the TRS government, Rahul Gandhi asked the crowd whether the state of Telangana had been created to benefit only one family. आपका जो तेलंगाना का सपना था क्या वो पूरा हुआ तीन साल में क्या सही शुरुआत हुई है या नहीं स्टूडेंट्स लड़े थे जो किसान लड़े थे क्या वो सिर्फ एक परिवार के लिए लड़े थे क्या आपने ये पूरा का पूरा प्रदेश सिर्फ चार लोगों के लिए बनाया राहुल गांधी स्टेटमेंट्स आर क्वाइट जुवेनाइल they are actually ignorant and driven out of lack of understanding of democratic spirit of this country and lack of understanding of his own party which is dynastic and which is and which is own party which actually uh, gives succession uh, of power transfer of power on the basis of pro jeni otherwise how is rahul gandhi the vice president and how is it that he is going to become the president of the party uh, the, the next time they are going to have this farce elections all right, my colleague Vijay Lakshmi now joins us with more on that story. Uh, Vijay Lakshmi, of course, there has been criticism of uh, KCR and his family, but coming from Rahul Gandhi, many are calling, calling it extremely ironical and a self-goal uh, scored by the Congress Vice President. That's right. Uh, well, the critics of uh, Congress uh, party and, of course, of Rahul Gandhi are calling it to be a self-call on Congress Vice President Rahul, uh, you know, by him. Uh, but, of course, as far as Congress party is concerned, there are several leaders of Congress party, senior leaders of the Congress party, who have given statement uh, on this particular issue. Well, in fact, senior leader Digvijay Singh has said uh, that this party is not about dynasty politics. Has it been the dynasty politics, then Rahul Gandhi would have become the prime minister, uh, you know, had become the prime minister when when uh, Congress party had got its majority and Congress President Sonia Gandhi also had, beca had become the Prime Minister of this country when Congress party had got the majority. So uh, basically Congress party over here is trying to say that this is not the party which does uh, dynasty politics, it's rather the KCR and the TRS which is uh, doing the dynasty politics in the state of Telangana. Now, well, all senior leaders of Congress party are saying that Mr. KCR is the Chief Minister of the state, his son uh, is a minister in his cabinet and his daughter is also a member of parliament so it's basically the tela, uh, TRS uh, the uh, you know party which is uh, you know promoting dynast, uh, dynasm, uh, dynasty politics uh, but it's uh, you know it's wrong to say that Congress party promotes uh, dynasty politics so well that's how Congress party is trying to defend uh, the vice president's uh, remarks that he has made yesterday in the state of Talangana but of course many in this country are finding those remarks to be uh, you know ironical enough because Rahul Gandhi we understand that he's become the vice president of the party uh, because of uh, you know because only he belongs to the Gandhi family so when he making those sort of comments and criticizing or attacking a political party a regional uh, political party uh, because of their uh, dynasty politics or alleging that they are indulging themselves into dynasty politics has of course given opportunity to his uh, political opponents to attack him for the same Absolutely, and Vijay Lakshmi, many would in fact say that it's not uh, just uh, uh, KCR's family or even Rahul Gandhi himself. Uh, perhaps this is really the way most political parties are structured in India, unfortunately, with dynasty really being at the heart of it all. Also, how is uh, this uh, feud between these two political parties and the leaders being viewed uh, coming as it does ahead of the big Karna Nidhi birthday bash, uh, which uh, in fact is going to be celebrated tomorrow where we are going to see several opposition leaders coming together. Well, as far as tomorrow's birthday bash is concerned, we've been told that uh, 10 parties from the opposition have been invited, including Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi. Uh, all uh, leaders uh, from the opposition parties have been invited by the DMK. So, well, let's see what happens there tomorrow. Uh, of course, it's an attempt by opposition to again to put up a united uh, fr uh, you know, face against a Modi government. We will be seeing all these senior leaders from various political parties from the opposition attending that particular uh, meeting. But of 
course, as far as you know, the word of war that has begun between Congress Vice President uh, Rahul Gandhi and the KCR, uh, you know, and the TRS there, the you know, war of words between these two political parties, Congress and uh, TRS, is uh, something which is not going to end, uh, you know, in any new future. We are seeing, uh, we uh, we might be seeing this to be escalated another level in coming few days by both the political parties. All right, uh, Vijay Lakshmi, stay with us. We want to come back.